Hey guys, Biggs here, and in today's video, we are back with the 1974 Indian that we have been reviving over the past a uh, couple videos and if you guys saw last video uh, we made an effort to try and get this thing to drive for the first time in 43 years and quick little run through for some of you that may have never seen this before or have not seen any videos on the channel but welcome to the channel <laughs> this is a 1974 Indian with now 157 original miles and it was last on the road in 19 78 so this is definitely a one-of-a-kind bike that we're going to be trying to restore without Doing anything to make the value of it go down like put non-original parts on it or spray paint it or anything like that But in today's video, we're going to try and basically continue from where we left off of Trying to get this thing to actually function so last video we installed uh, the new levers on there and when we tried to put it in gear First of all, the whole, I mean, gear shifter did not move at all. I put all my body weight on it and it did not move. But eventually over time and just kind of working it out, uh, we got it to move, but it still gets stuck up. And if you guys didn't see in the last video, I basically explained uh, what I believe is going on with the shifter return springs not functioning. And an even bigger issue is the clutch not engaging whatsoever. Like nothing at all is Working and I mean when you pull in the clutch lever is adjusted nice and tightly not too tight But you know perfectly to the point uh, That you know it, it feels like it would be engaging, but it's not and there are several I mean possibilities I mean since this thing has been sitting for so long I mean the discs can be all stuck together or the whole arm that engages it itself could be broken several possibilities and today's video We're gonna be trying to figure that out. So uh, I got permission to uh, go into this engine and check things out as if you guys don't know already This is my friend's bike and he basically gave it to me to uh, Feature on the channel so you guys can witness I guess this piece of Indian history uh, Come back to life. So I'm kind of just fixing it up for him But we're going to be taking off the side cover and looking inside of this engine uh, To see the clutch and see the shifting linkage and basically see what we can do. So at first I was a little bit nervous because I was afraid of not being able to find the gasket for the side cover, but I actually did completely original gaskets in the original packaging. So that's really good. I already have those ordered and on the way. So we could go ahead and crack this baby open and see what's going on. All right, so first thing I wanna do uh, is drain the oil that we just put in it last video, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just put it back into the court of oil that it just came from because we could reuse it. I mean it literally has like 15 minutes on it And the oil that came out of it actually wasn't too bad. Let's go ahead and start with that And once I'm done with that uh, We have to use I'm gonna use an impact screwdriver instead of a normal screwdriver because I know From past experience especially on a bike this old that these Phillips head screws are bound to strip if you just use uh, a Screwdriver that doesn't fit well in there. So let's go ahead and get to work. Right, let's see how carefully I can do this without spilling it all over the place. I probably should have a drain pan here. Ah, you know what? Let's just send it. So we got our, uh, well, our brand new oil draining back out again. So I'm just going to let that drain for a bit. And in the meantime, I'm going to get a uh, screwdriver bit that'll fit nicely on there. And, uh, you know, not have a wobble in it that risk it rounding out. Right, let's try this one first. Uh, it's a little bit loose. Has a little bit of side to side play. Let's try one size up. Oh yeah, that's definitely way better. So the oil is all done draining. I just got the drain plug back in. What I'm gonna do before I take off this side cover, just wipe down the outside of it just so all that dirt and everything uh, doesn't fall down into the engine. I think this will come off fairly easy. Yeah, it actually looks pretty clean under there. I'm really excited for when we clean up this bike. I mean, the hardest part is definitely going to be the wheels because those those are really, really bad. But I mean, everything else I think would definitely clean up well. Ooh, there's one, there's two, three, four, and five. So all these uh, screws are uh, like different sizes according to where they are in the cover. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just leave them in. I might need a little bit of help. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's take a look. Huh, 
Here is a closer look at the clutch, and this is not what I was expecting to be in here. I was expecting to see like the whole clutch basket and the discs, but then again, this is a clutch basket and discs, just a different style. So this is, I guess, the clutch basket and the discs are actually behind here, I can feel them. But I mean, there's nothing I can really do without taking it off. The engagement uh, inside of the cover itself looks to be functioning. So I guess I think what I'm just gonna do is uh, take off this little piece right here. You can see the nut right in there. And I'm just gonna go ahead and break that loose and uh, try and pop this thing off and kind of just inspect it, maybe take out the friction plates and everything, and just make sure nothing's really stuck together and everything looks good, just put it back together, put it back on, and hopefully see if that resolves the issue. So I just got the uh, clutch off and it's right down here, but everything behind it, the uh, gears and everything, everything looks really, really good. The teeth don't look uh, damaged in any way, shape, or form. And one thing to note, in case any of you are doing this on a 74 Indian, is that this is reversed thread, so what it is to tighten it is actually to loosen it. So just a little bit of a note. But if we come down here, we have our clutch, our very tiny little clutch, and Right off the bat, I mean, this plate looks basically brand new, but if we look down in there, you can see our friction material, and it doesn't look very good from here, but let's see if we can pull this off and uh, see if we can look inside right, so of there's here. a little bit of a uh, C-clip right around the edge of the whole thing, keeping everything in. Looks like it's a pain in the neck to get out, but <laughs> let's see what we can do. All right, so I just got the uh, little C-clip out. It was just like handling a piston ring. I mean, this really could be a piston ring. It looks just like one, but just have to be very careful with it because these can snap very easily. But let's go ahead and pop out some of these discs and see what we're working with. Plenty of friction material on there. All right, so one thing I am noticing as I start taking off uh, these plates are these like little tiny specks. I don't know if it's clutch material or like grease. It looks like grease, but it's coming out of each. Oh no, that's solid. That's that's actually like clutch material chunks. Let's see what we got going on. You can see it just peeling out the sides, like right there. Interesting. And the springs in here, everything looks pretty good. Nothing really too out of the ordinary. So as I'm looking closer into this thing, you can see kind of in each ridge, there is like, kind of like just junk in there. I don't know if that's friction material or just maybe some like break-in, maybe that's normal. But there is definitely a uh, decent amount in there. So I'm gonna try and just spray that out, just clean it out. And then I think I'm just gonna put this all back together. But here's a closer look of that stuff that's in there and it's like solid it's not like squishy or like liquidy it feels like metal but i mean everything else really looks fine still plenty of life on here so maybe uh some of them were just stuck together because it was pretty difficult to pull some of these out so i'm just gonna clean them all like i was just saying before and reassemble it and we'll see if it makes any difference Alrighty guys, so I just got the clutch uh, all finished up and back together. I did uh, have to throw it in the vise just to compress it to get in the uh, little snap rings, but everything is looking good. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and throw this thing back in there. I'm still waiting on the gasket to arrive, but I shouldn't need uh, to run it to see if the clutch works. If I just put it in gear, pull in the clutch, and it should just roll. Before it wouldn't, it would just, you know, roll in gear and the engine would turn over, but if the clutch is functioning, that should work. And if it does work, uh, we can go ahead and take that back off once the gasket comes, put that back on, fill it up with oil, start it, and then hopefully uh, it will drive. Alrighty guys, so the bike is all back together. Uh, so what I just want to do, just go ahead, put it in gear, uh, push it, and see if it'll roll. The clutch definitely does feel different. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> Alright, so right now, 
is in gear, as you guys can see. So I'm gonna pull in the clutch, and hopefully we have something. Nothing. All right, so no luck yet. Um, I mean, the clutch isn't bad, unless it's kind of like the way that engages with that whole little plate thing that went over the clutch, but the clutch is solid, it returns nice. It has good throw on the arm, but it just does not want to engage. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some more research on this. Uh, we have to wait for the gasket anyway before we do anything, so we would have to stop here anyway, even if it did work. So with that being said, I'm gonna catch you guys back in a couple of days once the gasket comes, and hopefully I have some more knowledge on how this clutch engages and functions. Alrighty guys, so we're actually back here like a week later from the last clip, and uh, as you can see, we got a package in the mail, and that is our gasket, like completely original. It's still in the packaging from the 70s, so that's pretty cool actually, but I'm coming at you with some good news. So I was kind of just looking at this thing uh, off camera the other day, just trying to figure out why this clutch is not working. So what I did was I pulled off the side cover and just checked everything out again, really just kind of checking out how the arm works and how it's engaged and disengaged and basically just how it functions. And after looking at it, I really didn't see any issue but what I did is I literally took a rubber mallet and was hitting it, just trying to free it up, even though we just took it all apart. And when I hit it, it actually slid back a little bit. And I was like, huh. And even though I tightened it with the nut, uh, it still had to go back a little bit farther because I think there was just like a little bit of a burr on the crankshaft and it had to get past that. So I tightened it down even more so now it didn't have any of that play. And well, I put it back together and check this out. So right now, it is in neutral, as you can see, rolling free. Let's throw it in gear. All right, it's in gear, obviously. You can hear the engine turning over. I'm gonna pull in the clutch, and we are rolling. Oh, it's kinda hard to do with one hand, but <laughs> we are rolling nice and free now, and the clutch is functioning. Let's throw it back in neutralis. So what we're gonna be doing today is taking off the side cover once again, uh, peeling off the rest of the old gasket, putting on the new gasket, uh, putting the oil back in it, adjust the clutch if we need to, but then we should be able to actually drive this thing correctly for the first time in 43 years and not just bump start in gear and kind of just roll around like that. Now it will actually function how it's supposed to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crank this out. Alrighty guys, so everything is all back together. We are all oiled up. Uh, I've been checking for oil leaks. I haven't seen any. So I think we're good to fire this thing up and uh, put it in gear and hopefully not launch forward and the clutch actually works. So I'm just gonna run it for a little bit and then I am gonna check the oil as well. But let's go ahead and give this a shot. amazing running amazing I honestly don't even think I need to adjust the clutch I think it's pretty much perfect so back here I really can't even get out of second gear I can barely get into second gear so what I actually want to do is kick it old school for a little bit and uh, actually just take this thing up and down the road real quick run her through the gears and make sure that all of them are functioning like third fourth and fifth aren't grinding at all and plus that will help our situation with the uh, shifter, as you guys know, with getting stuck, but it is getting much better. But I am stoked. I am gonna check the oil again, but I'm not gonna bother recording it. And if I need to, I'll top it off. All right, here we go. I got the bike rolled outside. I actually just looped up the chain, checked the oil again. We all look good. 
Oh yeah. Just take it for a quick ride. Everything looks good, but just want to make sure it gets through all the gears and everything like that, so. Woo, there's second. Third. Fourth. There's fifth. And I, th yep, that's it. So she's a five speed. Let's make sure the brakes work. Wow, it has been a while since I've done a moto vlog type style, but once again, not my bike. Just want to make sure everything works for him. So I just want to kind of just run it through the gears. Here's the horn. Woo, yeah, this thing rips. It's 40 on the Speedo. I'm so happy how this is feeling, but I think it's best we bring it in now. We felt we, what we need to feel, so we're good. All right, so that was definitely a success, I would say. Man, it feels good to be riding again. That was definitely a success in my books. Alrighty guys, so the first time that this thing has been on these streets in 43 years uh, was definitely a success. And I mean, there's still, you know, obviously kinks that have to be worked out. I mean, right now it just runs and drives, but man, that thing felt good. It definitely smokes a good bit. You know, all I've done with this, pretty much since I've had it, is just let it idle. So it definitely could have been a, a decent amount of oil buildup in there that's just burning off. And everything that's collected in there over four decades, nearly half a century, uh, is probably burning off in there as well. So as it gets driven, uh, it's only probably to get gonna get better. And now that I'm thinking about it, this engine is probably still in braking. And I mean, Hard braking is good for an engine, so. But I mean, other than that, it was running really, really good. Uh, I think I might just have to change out the spark plug or maybe clean that one up because it kind of felt like it was fouling out every now and then. But the brakes feel great. Uh, the shifting is actually really, really good. The shifter is pretty much near perfect, so that'll basically just work out. But basically what's coming next for this is cleaning it up because obviously uh, she is definitely in need of some love. And that's a video that I've been looking forward to but also dreading at the same time because uh, you know, I'm gonna try to preserve the paint on it or what's on it right now to the best of my ability. You know, obviously no spray paint, nothing like that. Cause I mean, this rust, especially on the rims is gonna be very difficult to remove. Uh, so we'll just see what we can do there. Felt good kicking it old school with the uh, helmet cam. Hopefully the angle was good. Uh, it's been whole years since I've done that. So definitely felt pretty good. But like I was saying before, this isn't my bike. So I don't wanna run it out there for too long. I just wanna make sure that it shifts through all the gears and is running pretty good. So. With that checked off the list, we can go ahead and clean this thing up and return it to my friends and leave it to him to enjoy. So with that being said, I'm going to be ending off this video here. Find my social medias. They will be on the outro of this video, Instagram and Snapchat. I use the most, but thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends about the channel.